<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid. Last time we got caught and we ended up in the prison and the the guy. And I remember that revolver us thought was tor torturing us. And now we're stuck in here, what the hell are we supposed to do? Well, there's only one man who can help us right now. Otakon. Otakon, are you still okay? Yeah. Thanks to the stealth camouflage, that is. I have a favor to ask. I need your help. I was wondering when you'd ask, what should I do? I've been captured. I'm locked up here in this cell. What cell? There's a big torture machine nearby. Okay, I know it. It's close. I'll be there right away. Thanks. Okay. Ultimate's coming for us. We cannot do anything but wait for him. See, there's this guard over here, you can, you can see it. Then there's this guy. We have no item, no weapons. We've all been taken away, so we have nothing. We can punch. Shut up. No, I won't shut up! What are we face doing? There's a calling coming. Snake, are you okay? I've been better. How's Mara? They've got her. Damn. Snake. The government has decided not to give in to their demands. We're trying to buy some more time. Come on, Colonel. Why don't you stop playing dumb? I'm sorry about Merrill, but I want the lies to end now. What are you talking about? Metal Gear was designed to launch a new type of nuclear warhead, wasn't it? You knew it all along, didn't you? Why did you try to hide it? I'm sorry. Can't tell the grunts, huh? You've changed a lot. Metal Gear? Secret advanced nuclear weapons research? Does the White House know about this? How deep does it go? As far as I know, as of yesterday, the President had not been briefed about the Rex project. Need to know basis, is that the idea? These are sensitive times. Even subcritical nuclear tests are causing quite a stir. Plausible deniability, huh? Yes. And tomorrow, the President and his Russian counterpart are scheduled to sign the START III Accord. I get it. That's the reason for the deadline. That's right, Snake. And that's why we can't let this terrorist attack go public. We still haven't even ratified Stark 2 or dealt with the issue of TMDs. This has to do with the president's reputation and America's place as the dominant superpower. So patriotism is your excuse for circumventing the Constitution? Please, Snake. Just stop them. Why should I? Because you're the only one who can. In that case, Tell me the truth about this new type of nuclear warhead. I told you before. I don't know the details. I don't believe you. If the situation is so serious, why don't you give in to their demands? Let them have Big Boss's remains. You see? Or is there some reason that you can't do that? Something you haven't told me about? Publicly, the President has been very vocal in his opposition to eugenics experiments. We don't want the existence of the Genome Army to go public. And that's the only reason? Huh. Hell with you. I'm sorry. The corpse of the DARPA chief is lying right here next to me. Oh, man. But it's strange. He looks and smells like he's been dead for days. All his blood's been drained out, too. Drained? Maybe to slow down decomposition? I have no idea. But the chief only died a few hours ago, right? Right. But he's already started to decompose. What could it all be about? Something in his blood that they wanted? I doubt it. Just the nanomachines in the transmitter. Did the chief tell them his detonation code? I'm afraid so. It looks like they've got both codes and are nearly ready to launch. Damn. Is there any way to prevent it? It seems that there's some type of emergency override device that can cancel out the detonation code. It's a countermeasure that ArmsTech installed secretly. You have to unlock it with three special card keys. And where are those keys? I've got one of them. I don't know where the other two are. Besides, I'm locked up here. We've got no choice. Forget about the keys. Your top priority now is to destroy Metal Gear itself. Sorry to have to lay it all in your lap, but you're all I've got. Bust out of there and get to the communications tower. Also... What? 
I know it's asking a lot. Meryl, right? Yeah. I'll save her. Thanks. Alright. But there's nothing we can do here. Actually, hey! I do whatever I want in here. You can't tell me what to do. I'm just if I wanna punch the window, I'll do it. You can't tell me what to do, man. Shut the fuck you shut up. You know what? I wanna punch the wall around. Oh uh, well, what are you trying to say? No no no, I like to punch the wall, I like to make noises, I like to punch the window, I wanna train up. I need to train up. I don't have enough muscles, I need to train up my fighting skills. Shut you shut up! Okay, fine, that's enough. If I punch the door! Okay, fine. Now we do not have anything to do here, just have to wait until this hey, thing happens. It's showtime. Oh, really? Wants you. Okay, let's have some fun! And now that's another torture sequence, so nothing really different from the other. Well, the dialogue is a little bit different at the end. That's it. Same thing as before, press circle and blah blah blah. Okay, I'll tell you once more. Press the circle button. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this, it's the same as before, nothing really has changed. So I'm just gonna push X and skip it. It will say the same thing as before. Press circle to restore life. Press a, press select if you don't wanna play this thing anymore and you want Mary to die. That's what it says. How did you like that? Shall we go again? The trick of this part is is this one. So start mushing the circle button, but don't stop when the time is over. You can still recover a little bit of life even when the time is over. See, time is over, it's still recovering a little bit. Had enough yet? We're not finished yet. The more difficult the game is at the beginning, like easy, normal, hard, extreme, or whatever that is. The more rounds you have to do, in easy is only 3, normal 4, hard 5, and I don't think in next stream is 6, I think it's still 5. I don't know if I never tried in next stream mode. I don't even know what happens in extreme mode. You're a strong man. Well, that's enough for now, I think. We live in a sad age. Imperialism, totalitarianism, perestroika. 20th century Russia has had its share of problems, but at least they had an ideology. Russia today has nothing. They're struggling between freedom and order, and with that struggle, a new spirit of nationalism has been born. The boss has a close friend high up in the Russian government. He's currently the head of Spetsnaz. He's agreed to purchase this new nuclear weapons system. The Hind was just a down payment. So you're in this for money? I don't need money. I want Russia to be reborn, to lead a brave new world order. And here we are again. We can do anything except the waiting. I'm waiting for Otakon. Maybe he will come by and maybe we can do some things. I don't know, we can talk. I don't know. Someone's calling. It's the general. You What's okay, up? Snake? Yeah. Nothing new to report. Snake, is there anything I can do? Yeah. My arm hurts. Poor Snake. I'll increase the level of painkillers in your blood. Okay. But you can leave out the Benzedrine. That stuff makes me too frisky. <laughs> I guess you're not feeling too bad after all. Naomi, please talk to me. Say something to take my mind off the pain. What can I say? Anything. I... I'm not a very good talker. Please. Tell me about yourself. Myself? That's a tough one. Any family? <sighs> That's not a happy topic for me. I don't have any family. No. Wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. 
Big Boss. What? Big Boss? I had no idea. There was no way you could. It happened in Zanzibar six years ago. Only Snake and I know the real truth of what happened there. So, is it true? Was Big Boss really your father? That's what he said. That's all I know. And you were able to kill him, knowing that? Yep. How? We wanted it. Besides, some people just need killing. That's petricide. Yep. That's the drama the Mantis was talking about. The one we share in common. Is that why you left Foxhound? Let's just say that I needed to be alone for a while, and Alaska was the perfect place. <sighs> Snake. I didn't have a real family either. Just a big brother who put me through school. We weren't even blood-related, and he was much older than me. Where is he? He's dead. I'm sorry. Snake, is there a woman in your life? After you've been through as many wars as me, it's hard to trust anyone. Hmm. Friends? Roy Campbell. Huh. You're still calling me friend? Is that it? No. There was another. Frank Yeager. What? Big Boss's most trusted lieutenant. And the only member of Foxhound ever to receive the code name Fox. Gray Fox. I learned a lot from him. But didn't you try to kill each other? That's true. We did, in Zanzibar. But it was nothing personal. We were just professionals on opposite sides, that's all. And you still call yourself friends? Hard to believe. War is no reason to end a friendship. That's insane. I first met him on the battlefield. He was being held a prisoner of outer heaven, but he didn't look like a prisoner to me. He was always so cool and precise. I was still green, and he showed me the ropes. You knew him well? No. We never talked about our personal lives. Sort of an unwritten rule. The next time I saw him on the battlefield, we were enemies. We were fighting barehanded in a minefield. I know it sounds strange to most people, but we were just two soldiers doing our jobs. It's like a sport. Men in their games. You're like wild animals. You're right. We are animals. So if you were friends, then how do you explain the ninja's behavior? I don't know. <sighs> it's your genes. They make you predisposed towards violence. You really like talking about genes, Naomi. Why did you get into genetic research anyway? I never knew who my parents were, or even what they looked like. I guess I got into genetics because I wanted to figure out why I am the way I am. So you studied about DNA? <laughs> yeah. I thought if I studied my genetic structure, I'd find out who I really was. I thought that by analyzing a person's genetic information, I could retrieve the blank spots in that person's memory. Memory is stored in DNA? We're not sure, but we know that a person's genetic fate is determined just by the sequence of the four bases in their DNA. So what about my fate? You know my DNA sequence, don't you? Your fate? I've... I'm sorry, I have no idea. Of course not. You're a scientist, not a fortune teller. That's enough for that's enough for now I think I'll see you guys in the next episode